This week, students returned to class here at Glen Rock High School after a much deserved week long break. But then cases of COVID-19 among the student body started bubbling up. Four cases reported over the break, then 10 more on Tuesday. When the superintendent of schools notified parents about the uptick, two new cases sprouted up, bringing the total to 16 and prompting the district to shut down the school and go all remote. Now, Superintendent Brett Charleston told PIX11 over email that the district's contact tracers have determined that the source of the spread was due to social gatherings that happened over break. Administrators at the school have long encouraged students to practice social distancing and to wear masks on and off school grounds. But it appears Glen Rock is among a growing number of schools across the country where pandemic fatigue is winning the battle. In order to get control of this pandemic, we're going to have to get control of this virus amongst children. According to Dr. Susanna Hills, a pediatric airway surgeon at Columbia University Medical Center, if there's one message to hammer into children and their parents, the public health measures practiced for over a year now were no fad. Kids can get sick just like adults and their population affected by this virus and they're going to continue to carry the virus and spread it. It's why many schools across New Jersey implemented all remote learning a week after their breaks, anticipating a so-called spring break effect. Unless new developments arise, Glen Rock High School is scheduled to return in-person learning on Monday. In Glen Rock, I'm Andrew Ramos, PIX11 News.